I didn't know exactly how to start this new life. There was no textbook that I could look at. I was only sure of one thing. I wanted to be surrounded by this dance, no matter what. I wanted to be a part of that world. So unprepared, and yet perfect. For a time, I ventured down my father's path. I got a job, hoping I might get my dad off my back. I made plans to be a doctor, maintain the family tradition, but... They didn't understand anything that I was doing. But that's when I knew I had to operate differently. Take a mistake, and I turn it into a move. I just had to find myself. So I could find that thing, that dance that I was looking for. And then... I saw it. The hairs went up in the back of my neck. I guess my whole head. And they never went down. I just wanted to be fun. My choice was made. Dancing's what I did to get away from all the craziness. I tried to stay on track. But it was everywhere. Create something and throw it out there. My personality all over. So I practiced in basements, garages. At night, my streetlights. Whatever it was, my spirit was lifted. You can't think about it. You just gotta let it go. Even if I got rejected a thousand times, I had to take a shot. I wanted to freestyle. I just had to do it. I found this spot. I got a DJ. And I invited all the people I had connected with along the way. They almost seemed to be waiting for me. I called it Groove Night. I hoped someone would show. I know a lot of people go through the same thing. Where their anger or their frustration, whatever they're going through, it just comes out through their dance. And at Groove Night, we just let it all out. Once I got used to it, Groove Night became part of my weekly routine. It was totally the opposite of a club or an audition. There was no pressure. Groove Night. It became a place where just about anything would happen. <laughs> and did. One night wasn't enough. It became a weekly gathering. The people that kept coming became something more. We became the Groovaloos. Coming to Hollywood, it can be kind of hard. Because you need a family and a strong foundation. And even though I have strong beliefs, being in the Groovaloos, they allow me to be who I am. They don't judge me. The Groovaloos became a family. And family doesn't always let you off the hook. We push each other, help each other grow. It got me to finally ask myself, why do I care if I'm not perfect? There are moments when I wish the whole world could see what I see. Like when Steven got into one of his grooves. Just so uniquely boogeyman. So infectious that it takes over. This was everything I dreamt of. I never wanted it to end. I'd already lost one family. I couldn't lose another. 